What's up guys, my name is Alex. I graduated from Stanford in math and computer science and I like to bet on sports and beat the sports books. So what we're gonna talk about, it's a Saturday night. There are a lot of late games. We can see Hawaii, San Jose State. There are some opportunities. This game starts at 11.30 p.m. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some money sports betting. Um, I oftentimes start on the arbitrage page. Again, arbitrage is when bookmakers have discrepancies in their odds, and the discrepancies are large enough that you can make risk-free money, right? Like in this case, this game's at 11.30 p.m. It's 6.55 p.m. in Nashville, where I am. So by the end of this game tonight, whenever it ends, you know, 2 a.m., whatever it is, I can have a risk-free return of this number, 3.49%. Like if I have a $500 bankroll on Foxbet, I bet $500 on Foxbet, Hawaii plus eight plus 100. I bet, you know, 465 on San Jose State minus eight. And I lock in a risk-free 34.88 in profit. Just risk-free money. It's I know to a lot of people it's crazy, but you can go through the math, you can pause this video, and you can go through the math, okay, if San Jose State is minus eight and Hawaii is plus eight on Foxbet, and these are the odds, plus 100, plus 115, what are my outcomes, right? If, um, if San Jose State wins by exactly eight, then you'll get your money back on both bets. They'll both be pushes, there won't be a win or a loss, so you'll break even. And, um, you know, if San Jose State wins by more than eight, this bet will win, this bet will lose. And then if, you know, Hawaii covers the spread, this bet will win on Fox Bet, and this bet on BetMGM will lose. So with arbitrage, you're always betting equal and opposite outcomes, um, which means one bet has to win, one bet has to lose, or you'll get a push and you'll get your money back. So here we can see I can make a risk-free 34.88. But as we've said, oftentimes... It's not just about arbitrage and making risk-free money, but it's about what arbitrage means. So what you know when an ARB exists it is, is that um, there has to be a profitable bet, right? You can't have arbitrage, which literally is risk-free money, and not have there be a profitable bet. So here we see that, okay, arbitrage exists between Foxbet and BetMGM. I could make risk-free money by placing equal and opposite bets on Foxbet and BetMGM. So one side has to be wrong. There has to be a profitable betting opportunity. So which bet is the mathematically profitable bet? Um, so in this scenario, right, we see that Pinnacle is minus 111, minus 102. So Pinnacle has Hawaii plus 8, minus 111, and San Jose State minus eight, minus 102. Again, the way sports books make money is they charge a VIG, the juice, but what you can do is you can remove the VIG with a fair odds calculator. So the fair odds calculator right here. So Pinnacle's market is minus 111, minus 102. So what Pinnacle is essentially saying is if you remove the VIG from Pinnacle's market, their market is implying that Hawaii plus eight is fair odds, minus 104.18, in San Jose State, the opposite outcome, minus eight, is plus 104.18 fair odds. And then every odd has an associated win percentage, right? So you can you can use an odds converter if this is confusing. So negative 104.18 if I go to an odds converter. Um, so we'll put an American, negative 104.18. That just spits out the probability that we see in the Novig odds calculator. It's the break even win percentage. So we'll go back to the odds calculator and it was minus 111, minus 102. So Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world, is implying that San Jose State minus eight should be plus 104.18, which is a 48.98% win percentage. And Hawaii plus eight is fair odds, minus 104.18, and a no vig win percentage, 51.02%. So um, what you can actually see is both bets here are profitable, right? So if you're in New Jersey and you have a Fox bet and bet MGM, this is supposed to be minus 104 fair odds. That is the fair odds. So plus 100 is better than minus 104. So this bet is mathematically profitable. And also San Jose State minus eight is fair odds plus 104, and you're getting plus 115. So both bets are profitable. So it may actually make sense to use an arbitrage calculator and place bets on you know, both sides and just make a risk-free 34.88 because both bets are good. But I'm actually, I'm currently in Tennessee, so we don't have Fox bet here. Um, 
So what I'm going to do is just place a bet on the mathematically profitable you know, bet on MGM, right? This is fair odds plus 104, and I'm getting plus 115, which is way better. As you can see, it's an arb to pinnacle too. This plus 115 is an arb to pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world. That's a pretty good indication that it's a mathematically profitable bet. So I'm going to go to San Jose State. Um, and what you can do is you can also look at the positive EV page. So first, let's just pull up this game. So I'm on bet MGM Tennessee, and we're going to go here. And then let's look at San Jose State. We want to look at minus 8.5. And as we can see, it's plus 115 odds. And you can figure out your expected profit from this bet. So what we can do is we can look here, right? It's actually, there's also a plus EV opportunity in the over 64, under 64. We can see over 64 is plus 115 odds and under 64 is minus 114 odds, right? So this bet is profitable by 4.88%. And um, so there's also a profitable bet in the totals. But you can see like, you know, we were looking at the plus eight, minus eight, but what you can see is this, um, uh, the, the minus 7.5 point spread, the plus 110 on BetMGM is profitable by 4.76%. That's the expected return to pinnacle zero vig line. And the the bet on Fox bet is profitable by 0.23%, right? So Pinnacle has Hawaii plus 7.5 slightly favored. So this Fox bet plus 100 is just slightly good. But what you can see is um, this bet on bet MGM is very good. So we definitely want to place that. So we're going to go to whole, you know, San Jose State minus 7.5. We'll pull it up. So let's say we play 625 bucks on this, right? So we play 625 bucks on this. Again, the expected profit margin to the sharpest bookmaker in the world, once you remove the juice, is 4.76%. So we just bet on San Jose State minus 7.5, and we put 625, I believe. The EV percentage was this, so 0.476. So the expected profit of this bet is 4.76% times 625, so pretty easy, 2975. So 2975 is our current, you know, expected profit of betting, you know, for this video. And your goal as a sports better is have a bunch of mathematically profitable bets. So you just sit back on Saturday, you have 10, 15, 30, whatever it is, mathematically profitable bets placed. They all have an expected profit margin of 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%, whatever and you just watch the money fall in. You're flipping coins, essentially, where you get $105 of its heads and you pay your friend $95 of its tails. That coin is um, landing on heads and tails an equal percentage of the time, so it's just a good bet, right? It's a mathematically profitable bet, and it's the exact same thing in sports betting. So we'll go back to this, um, and we can see we also want some sweat on this over 64. This is a plus EV bet, 4.88%. So pretty easy. I'm already on this game. I just go to over 64, um, plus 115. And it's weird too. On BetMGM, over 64 has the same odds as over 64.5, which makes no sense. But whatever. We'll place 500 bucks on this, and we'll place the bet. And we just placed another bet, right? And this bet is pretty uncorrelated to San Jose State minus 7.5. Maybe they're slightly correlated, but we have over 64 in San Jose State game. And we place $500 on that. And here the profit is 4.88%. So the EV of this bet is going to be 24.4, right? So we're currently sitting at almost, you know, 50. we're sitting at $54 in expected profit, right? So... According to the sharpest sports book in the world, placing bets like this over the course of the long run would generate us $54 in expected profit. Um, it's the same way people think about investing in the stock market, right? The EV of the stock market is roughly 8% per year. Why does everyone in the world, why do your parents, your grandparents probably tell you to invest in the stock market? It's because it tends to go up over time. It's the exact same thing here with sports betting is you're placing bets that are mathematically profitable plus EV that have a positive expected return. So placing them over the long run will make you money. Um, so we're currently sitting at 54.15 in expected profit. And what we can do is look for some other good bets. So here we see Philadelphia Eagles, first half money line, plus 135 on DraftKings. 
Pinnacle has it plus 118. This plus 135 is again an orb to Pinnacle, which has minus 133 49ers. You know one bet has to, you know, one book has to be wrong. When arbitrage exists and you can make risk-free money in sports betting, like here I could make risk-free money betting on the Eagles and betting on Pinnacle, one book has to be wrong. Pinnacle is the sharpest bookmaker in the world. You don't want to bet against Pinnacle, right? So this bet would also be mathematically profitable. So maybe after this video, I'll go into DraftKings and, and place that bet. But um, we can kind of go through, maybe find one more good bet. So we see San Jose State, Hawaii. And again, lines are always moving. Sports is a financial market. These odds are not static. They are constantly moving around. You know, sharp bettors may come in and start to hammer Hawaii, and this line may move towards Hawaii. Or maybe San Jose State's one of their good players, wide receivers, gets COVID, and the line moves towards Hawaii, right? Everything is currently based on current market data at the time, and that's what's so powerful about OddsJam is this isn't BS picks and BS model. Everything is based in live data, right? Here, it's just live data. You can place a bet on Foxbet. You can place a bet on BetMGM and make risk-free money. So one of these books has to be wrong. And the question we have in our head is which book is wrong, right? So then you can look to Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world, as a source of indication of, okay, what is the good bet here? What is the mathematically profitable bet? Um, so you can see a lot of arbitrage opportunities are, are currently available. Like here, it looks like Giants minus 2.5 plus 330 on FanDuel is a pretty attractive bet. But um, what we can do is just see if there are any other good bets. Like here, UCLA, Fresno State, another ARB to um, Pinnacle. So that would be a good bet on Twin Spires. But I'm on BetMGM, so that's what we're going to look at. Another good bet on the Ravens, right? You could place all of these. They are all mathematically profitable and have expected returns ranging from 3 to 6%. That's why sports betting is so crazy. You are earning the expected return of the stock market in a day or sometimes even less than a day, right? Like this Ravens game tomorrow, it starts in 24 hours. This is an ARB to Pinnacle. It has a positive expected return. Um, one of these books has to be wrong. Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world, has it minus 128. So clearly this minus 110 is a little, you know, too good. That is value odds. And if we go to over 26.5, you know, you can see most books have the over under over 27 and it's shaded towards the over. Caesars has over um, 27 minus 115 odds. And we can get over 26.5 minus 110 first half points on DraftKings. So this is clearly a good bet, right? So um, anyways, we'll go back here and we can kind of see if there's anything else that's interesting on BetMGM because I'm on BetMGM. Most of the college football games have started, so maybe we'll just um, double down on a little bit of, well, here we see another one, Iowa State minus 32.5, right? Plus 105 odds. And then this is also an ARB to Pinnacle. So both these bets are mathematically profitable. Browns, Texans. So we can click on this. We can kind of take a peek. And we can see over 24. It's favored on 8 to eight Sport. It's favored on 10-bet. It's basically favored everywhere. And Pinnacle, this is an ARB to Pinnacle. So we can click on it. You can add it to your bet tracker right here if you want to place 500 bucks on it, whatever. So both of those bets are mathematically profitable. Um, so you could even parlay these all together and get you know, an even more mathematically profitable bet. So what we could do is here we see Eagles plus four point plus five minus one forty three. So I, I kind of like that. I kind of like the Eagles tomorrow anyways. Not going to I'm not really a feeling better, but um, I do like the way the Eagles looked in week one. So Eagles plus five. We can see minus 145, that's an ARB to Pinnacle. So that's profitable. And what you can do is also construct profitable, you know, parlays. We can see Ravens under 56.5, minus 133. So we can go to the Ravens game as well. We already have one profitable bet placed. And again, if you parlay together profitable bets, see the thing about parlays is if you parlay together mathematically unprofitable bets, your bet gets more unprofitable. If you parlay together profitable positive expected value bets, your bet gets more profitable on a percentage basis. So what we can do is we can go to under 56.5 minus 135. 
So again, that's an ARB to Pinnacle. So that bet is mathematically profitable. And you can parlay together positive expected value bets and your bet actually gets more profitable on a percentage basis. So San Jose State minus 7.5. And again, like when you have long odds, you're less likely to actually win the game. But we'll have we'll have a little fun with it because this bet will be very profitable, right? Like all of these are arbitrage bets to Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world, and we're just compounding the um uh, the the profit margin of our bet. So San Jose State minus seven point five plus one ten, big arb to Pinnacle minus eight is plus one fifteen. So maybe we'll go with that minus eight, you know, plus one fifteen. Why not? And let's see, we, you can kind of just bet. A variety of them parlay them together to make a very mathematically profitable bet so we already bet something in this game iowa state minus 32.5 why not you know and just get a little fun small parlay together so iowa state minus 32.5 plus 105 odds right and then cleveland browns over 24 plus 100 arb to pinnacle so then we'll go to NFL. And again, you want to move quick to get in on the best betting opportunities. Um, we've said this before, but it's really important. So we'll say it again. So I already have bet, you know, both of these. So maybe I'll make this parlay a little smaller. I'm trying to click on this. And then I'll go to halves, first half, over 24, plus 100. So we see we're plus... 2492 odds pretty crazy but the fair odds of this bet all bets are mathematically profitable is probably something like plus 1700 so i'm getting plus 2492 on something that is winning you know one out of 18 times that's a mathematically profitable bet so this is a mathematically profitable parlay so why not place it so we'll place a small one this is fun 50 dollars to win you know 1296 so i already have sweat on some of these like i already have bet the under in the chiefs ravens game so i'll take that out i already bet this but maybe i'll place another little parlay so the more legs i take out of my parlay obviously the more likely my my bet is to win so then i'm going to remove this and then this I kind of like, right? Like, I can kind of deal with this. So I'll place 150 on this. All bets are mathematically profitable. So I'm getting profit margin. Of course, this bet is still, you know, not likely to win, but it kind of is what it is. So I got some action there, and then I have 250 left. So maybe I'll place another 150 there. And then keep selections and bet, bet slip. I'll remove this. And then this will be my last bet, right? So that is how you bet in a mathematically profitable way. You look for arbitrage bets where you know one side has to be wrong. Pinnacle has to be wrong or BetMGM has to be wrong. Pinnacle is the sharpest bookmaker in the world. You don't want to bet against Pinnacle. So all of these bets we just placed, clearly mathematically profitable, all incredible bets. Um, of course, they're pretty long odds. Are they going to hit? Probably not, but that's not the point because if you're placing bets you know, at plus 2000 odds, and they're winning one out of 15 times, you can go through the math yourself. If you're betting at plus 2000 odds, you're winning one out of 15 times, what does your profit margin look like? And the way I view sports betting is as an investment, over the long run, I wanna make money. And that's how I made a lot of money sports betting, is you don't wanna deal with worrying about these small profit swings, and you just wanna place mathematically profitable bets on a consistent basis. Like if we look at the bets I have open, I have 15 bets open right now on BetMGM. A ton of bets, they're all mathematically profitable. I'm sure some of them will win, some of them will lose. But the point is, um, they're all mathematically profitable, so over the long run, I'm gonna make money. It's the same you know, thought process for investing in the stock market. The stock market may go down, the next year but over the long run investing money at least over the past 150 years you know has made people money so it's something that you want exposure to because it has positive expected value it is no different in sports betting and that is what we are doing in all these videos so i hope you found this video helpful and um i'm sure we will do much more sh many more sharp betting sharp sports betting videos um as we continue to you know go through um, you know, the course of the football season. So thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day.